So in this video, I'll show you how to get your own Ethereum wallet. Uh, it's really easy to do. If you've ever used any other cryptocurrency wallets, it's very similar to that and the process is super easy. So I'm just gonna walk you through it here. Uh, you go to github.com slash ethereum slash mist slash releases. Uh, this website here will take you to the latest uh, wallets. They're in beta, but they work well. And you just scroll down on it till it gives you your download options. And here you just pick your operating system that you use. Uh, I use Windows, so I just click on this and start the download. Uh, just to make the video go faster, I've already downloaded. So once you get it, it will be a zip file uh, just like this. Just go to the zip file and then you'll just extract it. And once you extract it, it will give you a folder like this. And inside it, you'll have your ethereum-wallet.exe. This is the file you use to get in here. So you just double click on that and it's gonna open up your wallet. Uh, this is what it actually looks like when you open up your wallet. This will be the main kind of overlay. Uh, when you create an account, it'll prompt you to make a password. So just pick a password you'll remember and then you're in. You'll need to use that password anytime you wanna send uh, Ethereum or do various activities within this wallet here. This is your address, so if you want to, uh, this is the address where you receive funds to. Uh, this is my address here, so if you feel inclined, uh, feel free to tip me. I'll put a link to that in the comments as well. And then uh, beyond that, you can create more wallets here. You can add additional wallets within your account. This is the send tab, so you'll put a, the address that you're sending to here. Uh, just make sure you're putting the right address in. Uh, be very careful on this. I don't think Ethereum has any stop. Uh, stop safes just in case you put the wrong address in so make sure you're really careful about that Of course the amount you want to send goes here and then you have the selection of fees the standard option here works just fine um, Especially here. There's not a ton of traffic on the network as of yet uh, And that's how the sending works uh, Beyond that we'll take a look at the backups so we'll go to uh, it's in your key store folder. So this is the directory you go to within Windows, your users, uh, yourself, app data, roaming, Ethereum, key store, and this is the actual file you want to back up. Now it's important to mem remember you need to back up this file and you need to remember what the password is you set it up with. So you know just make a bunch of backups of this file, you know some external hard drives or, or thumb drives that you keep offline are probably a good idea. Um, that's the sim that's it. You know, there's, there's not too much more to it. You can play around with the contracts here if you like. And of course that's where a lot of the developments occurring. So we'll see more there. Um, as a disclaimer, of course, you know, use the wallet as your own risk. Uh, it is in beta, you know, and, uh, the wallet apps are being developed, uh, in large privately though. I do believe this wallet is, um, being created, you know, within the Ethereum, uh, the official Ethereum group's oversight, so just so you know. But yeah, that's the gist of it. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.